scientist. Welcome to Science with Sophie. I'm Sophie, helping you be a brave, smart, curious, funny scientist every day. Today I'm sharing some science from my kitchen. But not in the way you might think, because I don't have any cool experiments around me. Or do I? Hashtag clickbait. You see, I'm really busy, and sometimes that means I leave food out a little too long, which some think is gross. Gross. And I agree, but I also think it's a cool opportunity for experiment time. Tomato, tomato, disgusting science, why choose? A few days ago, I made some soup, and then I forgot, and I left it out uh, for a couple of days. I found it today, and I also found this mold. It's fuzzy, it's smelly, and it's all over the soup. What is mold, and why does it have that ick factor? There's got to be some science here. Mold is a type of fungus. Fungi are different from plants and animals. They have their own kingdom of living organisms. Yes, mold is alive. A fungus has three main parts. The threads that grow into its food source, the body that grows out of the food source, and spores, kind of like the pollen of a plant. But unlike plants, fungi do not need sunlight to grow. And also unlike plants, they don't make their own food. A fungus needs three things to grow. It needs humidity or water in the air, warm temperatures, and a food source like soup or dead or decaying organic matter like leaves or animal carcasses or rotting food. Fungi use their tiny threads to spread through their food source, break it down, and then use those nutrients to further spread and grow, which in nature returns those nutrients back to the soil. Fungi live in colonies or huge groups from the size of this pot of soup all the way to as big as an entire forest floor. Huge, huge, it's huge, they're massive. Massive forest floor sized fungi. Massive colonies of fungi. I'm talking about huge entire forests of fungi, a fungi forest. You see the trees, but you're missing the fungi. You know what they say, you're missing the fungi for the trees. Fungi are a critical part of life. And good news, they are thriving. There are perhaps over 1 million species of fungi in the world and scientists have only discovered in the tens of thousands of them. There is so much more out there and in here. If mold is so important, why does it make us humans go, ew, gross, mold? Well, because while some molds are beneficial, like yeast or portobello mushrooms or penicillin, others can make us sick, like poisonous mushrooms or black mold. And if there's mold on food, that means food is rotting. So that triggers our response to go, oh, no, thank you. If you want to learn more about our food instincts, check in the cards for the episode on food. So where did this mold come from? Mold spores could have been in the air, floating around, but there is a lid on this soup, so why did it still get moldy? There's some air trapped inside the lid. There could also have been mold spores in the water I used or the ingredients of the soup itself. A tiny bit of mold is like, meh, not so bad, and it can be near impossible to control. In fact, governments will regulate and monitor food for fungus levels to make sure they're safe to sell. Wherever it came from, how did it grow on my soup? Mold needs three things to grow. Soup is food. Check, soup is also a liquid. So there's definitely moisture in the soup and in the air above it. Humidity, check. And I left it out in a warm room. So check, 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 check. If I had put it in the fridge, this soup would have probably lasted a little bit longer because the temperature is colder. That's why we like refrigeration so much. Thanks fridge. Even still, I can guarantee you that my fridge has some fungi I did not buy on purpose. Cause some fungi can grow in cold anyway. And some are really good at eating through salt and sugar. So even yogurt or hard cheese can get moldy eventually. Science is everywhere. Even still, I would like whew, a little less moldy science in my kitchen. So I'm going to change a few things up. Here are my hot tips for a cool kitchen. One, put your food in the fridge. Two, clean that fridge regularly. Three, buy less to begin with. If I buy less food to begin with, then I'm gonna eat it before it goes bad, and I will have less moldy food that I bought before I could eat it. I think I just said the same thing twice, but you know, the double bottom line is that I'm saving money and doing something good for the planet. Double win. Pew, 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 pew. Have you ever found mold in your house or somewhere else? Was it a helpful mold or a harmful mold? What else is cool about mold? Share in the comments below. I'm gonna go clean this up. Till next time, scientists. Oh. 
Opa! Oh, it smells so bad. Oh. Was it a helpful mold or a harmful mold? Harmful mold. That's really hard. Hard, hard to say a harmful mold. Was it a help, helpful mold? Or harmful mold?